What's going on guys and welcome back to the Ghouls Gaming and Tech channel. I've been gone for a minute. Well at least for me it feels like a little minute, about a few days, maybe about a week, I don't know. But we're back in the building. Spidey's back in the building. He was on a little hiatus, but he's back and he's going crazy. Ain't it right Spidey? Mm, mm, mm. Anyways, we have a special little device today. Today we have the Hohem iSteady Mobile Plus Smartphone Gimbal. I know that's a little mouthful, but it is what it is. I've been eyeballing this for a minute on Amazon. It's like a hundred bucks on Amazon, but I got it. I finally got a steal on this bad boy. Long story short, I did not pay a hundred bucks. Sorry, Amazon, you're not getting it out of me. Uh. <laughs> I paid about 30 bucks. I'll let y'all know how I did that later in the video. This is just a hands-on first impressions. I'm gonna be using this to shoot a couple shots and maybe some full videos coming up in the week. So I'm gonna give a full review on this a little bit later. But if you're in the market for one of these or you've been eyeballing this like I was and you wanna know some things about it, you're in the right place. If you're new, make sure you hit that subscribe button and if you're new or returning, that like button is definitely appreciated. So before we get our hands on this bad boy, I'm gonna give you guys some specs really quick. All right, so this can hold up to 9.8 ounces of a beast of a smartphone. I was worried about that a little bit because I have the iPhone 13 Pro Max and it's a little chunky to say the least. But when I looked it up, the iPhone 13 Pro Max is coming in at a whopping 8.48 ounces, which is within that 9.8 ounce threshold. Woo, thank goodness. This also has a 600 degree tilt and roll axis rotation and it also has a 320 degree tilt with roll axis rotation. It has a four way joystick, Bluetooth 4.0 LE, plus a downloadable Hohem app that you can download, and it works well with the actual device. It has a 12 hour runtime on a 3.5 hour charge, which is pretty awesome. And it also has a micro USB charging port and a USB port on the side of it as well. It also has zoom control and it also has face tracking via the app. Now the battery for this bad boy is coming in at a whopping 3600 milliamps, which I did not expect that at all from this device, but that's pretty good. We got some pretty good runtime. Now the price for this ranged from $55 on eBay all the way up to about $121.99. That's $121.99 on the actual Hohem website. But like I told you, I got a steal. I didn't pay that much. I only paid 30 bucks. Without any further ado, let's get our hands on this. All right, you have this mini little tripod stand right here. Not a full tripod, but you have a little kickstand. This screws in the bottom right here. And then on the front, you have Hohem branding. So you have the Hohem branding on the top, your Bluetooth icon right here, your mode icon right here. This is the four-way joystick. Move it up, down, left, and right. The W and the T over here. This is your zoom in and zoom out switch. This is your mode selector right here. So as you can see, next to each mode, it has a certain number of dots. One all the way to four. So you tap it once, you're in the first mode, twice, second mode, so on and so forth. This button right here with the red dot in the middle, if you long press it, that will turn the device on and off. And if you tap it one time while the device is on, it will take a picture. You tap it twice, it will start the video. If you look over here, you have another port where you can screw that bad boy in. So if you want to lay it this way, you can screw it in as well. And this is your USB and micro USB slots. Over here, you have your battery indicator. So obviously four batteries or four lights all the way up. I mean, you have full charge, the lower it goes, the lower charge you have. This little trigger on the back, you have little texture grip right here. Double tap it twice, it will recenter the stabilizer to where you had the original focus at. If you look right here, you have a little scan barcode right here. If you scan this on your phone, it will take you straight to the app. So there's no guessing within that. Another screw port up here. So if you need to attach a microphone, a light, whatever the case is, obviously it needs to be small. You can attach that to the top. You have your iSteady branding right here and then a little swivel icon of your phone to let you know that this thing is going to move. You clamp your phone in right here, pull these open, put your phone in, and then on the back, even actually after you pull them open, you can slide this up and down because you need to balance your phone before you start using it. Depending on the size of your phone, every phone is different, every phone weighs a different amount. 
so this device and the app knows how to properly track your face how to properly stabilize it and where the center of gravity is so and as you can see below right here this little locking mechanism this means that if you unscrew and screw it in that will move this lever up and down that is all a part of balancing your phone this right here we're gonna put this on just so we can see what this looks like I'm too hyped to use this man I've been looking at this for a while and I'm trying to tell you guys this will make my video skills legit so you can see right here this is pretty sturdy it's not gonna move uh, it has little grips on the bottom so it's gonna be stuck in place where you put it figuratively not literally okay it will move but it's giving good grip on whatever surface you put it on so that's if you want it standing straight up but for some reason if you want this device in landscape mode all you do is unscrew this screw this right here oh come on now don't 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 do me like this spidey i know you see this put that over here there you go you have another mount and then boom i don't know how this is going to swivel while this is in this mode because there's no clearance at the bottom it's literally touching the bottom so i'm assuming this will be maybe in this setting so you can actually swivel it that way but i'm not sure yet i haven't played with it too much i played with it a little bit this morning just to kind of get my hands wet with it or i guess the thing is my feet wet just to see how it works so most likely i'm going to be using it in this mode all the time so i'm gonna turn this on really quick you guys see what happens so i turned it on really quick you saw what happened it started to move it went stabilizing where i last set it so i just put my phone in here and it'll do its thing the only movement it will do is when i turn it on it adjusts itself and then when i turn it off it goes limp that's my little first impression hands-on with this thing so i got this for 30 bucks because a good friend of mine he bought one of these or i think he just got one for christmas and he used it one time didn't really use it much and he figured hey somebody might use this more than me he knows i do youtube do all that things you guys know him i played in the call of duty video with him the uh former baltimore ravens offensive lineman marcus applefield yes yeah, so he gave me this bad boy for 30 bucks it's normally about 100 bucks on average this was a freaking steal like i said i've been looking at this for a while i definitely appreciate it so shout outs to him i'm really really feeling this i like it i've been looking at it for a while this is gonna be in heavy rotation on the ghouls gaming and tech channel but you guys know in all my videos i like to keep it short and sweet spidey you good on time we had about 10 minutes and we out of here i'll see y'all in the next one peace